By now, you no doubt have heard that lionfish have invaded the reefs here in the Florida Keys. But are they really a danger to the ecosystem? What are they actually eating down there? We'll open one up and find out in this FinCast. When most people think of the dangers of lionfish, they think of the beautiful but venomous spines that can inflict painful stings on humans. But the real threat is to the Atlantic reefs they're beginning to dominate. The lionfish is an invasive species, probably released from people's aquariums initially. It's doing very well, unfortunately, on the reefs because it has no natural predators, and so it's rearranging the ecosystem. They're in the wrong ocean. Jeff Turner has seen the lionfish population explosion firsthand. You know, when we first saw them out there off Miami Beach even, you know, I saw one, or I saw another one on another dive. And now I can go back to the same ledge that I have dove uh, every year uh, during lobster season to collect a few lobster. I can go on that same exact ledge, and I can guarantee every time we go there now, I'll see six of them. It's estimated the lionfish have been in Atlantic waters since 1998 with sightings becoming common in the year 2000. Now the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration reports some areas have seen densities of a thousand lionfish per acre. They're populating the reefs um, in all sorts of depths. Um, they're catching them in lobster traps at even 200 feet deep. Um, and they're catching some really big ones the deeper they go actually. So they're they're pretty much everywhere at this point. You'll find them on patch reefs in Hawk Channel and the Florida Keys and sometimes even on the main reef as well. There's a very good chance we'll see some lionfish down there. Uh, yeah, the Keys are, are uh, the population is definitely increasing up in the Keys. So our group, including Turner and Dr. Matt Wittenrich, a specialist in marine aquaculture, went looking for lions in the Florida Keys. Some divers have observed lionfish eating 20 small wrasses in just 30 minutes. Our group did not see lions eating, but they were clearly in areas where small fish could easily fall prey. Our group would use spear guns to collect several fish. The venomous spines were trimmed underwater to prevent danger to the divers. That's a baby fish of some sort. Looks like a little... Oh, a goby. Goby. Corfopterus. Back at the dock, we cut open the stomachs to see what they had been eating. Oh yes, something else is coming out of his stomach. Let me massage. Oh, another goby. See that? Not only are the fish removing smaller species from the reef, potentially upsetting the delicate balance of the environment, they're also competing with game fish, such as snapper and grouper, which are indigenous and commercially important to the region. Look at that beautiful white meat. We oh also God. filleted the lionfish awesome. and ate them for dinner. Look at that, dude. Uh, the fish was excellent. It was, reminds me of hog snapper. It's a perfect white meat, especially the larger one. We got about a uh, almost a 14-inch lionfish um, and filleted that bugger, and he was he was really good eating. The lionfish have become so prevalent on some of these reefs in Florida that organizations are holding contests to see how many can be captured in a single day. And restaurants are holding contests to see if people can come up with recipes to make the lionfish taste good. Maybe humans can become the lionfish's biggest predator. Meanwhile, scientists say it's too early to tell the real impact of these beautiful but voracious predators. All we know for sure, they say, is that there will be an impact.